Hello. I actually thought that you had lost my number. <laughs> I was just busy with work, you know. That is why I didn't get the time to call you. I hope I didn't disturb you, right? Not at all. In fact, I like it. Thanks a lot for coming and meeting me here. There is no need to say that. Actually, I am really very happy to meet you. Chanacho, who named you, tell me? It was my dad. Actually, my stepdad. Maybe he wanted me not to fear water. Because when I was a kid, I was a, I was really very scared of water. Very scared. I couldn't control it. That is fine if you don't wish to share with me. No, it's not like that. I'm really happy that I'm telling you all this. You can ask whatever you like to. Did you ever feel something as if when you met someone for the first time and you want to meet them again? You know, I'm trying to say that you felt a kind of a connection with them and you just want to converse more with them you don't know more about them you just have this curiosity has anything like that happened to you before yes and what about you yes it has but just once in my life yes with me too maybe I am thinking like you when are you thinking about returning? I'd really like to stay there again. I don't know. I go there only sometimes. Actually, only when I really feel like it. I really want to thank you for inviting me over here. Uh, I don't have many things to share with you right now. And I'm actually a married man. And I just wanted you to know this about me. Had I not told you about this, I would have felt this unease inside me. This makes me very jealous that your wife has a husband like you. If I go this Sunday, would you like to come there with me? I really like this place. I was thinking of moving here permanently. Yeah. If you want to buy a house here, they would like to stay over here. Mm. Just like love at first sight. <laughs> I agree. I have started falling in love with this place. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Hello? My hair. I just found out that mom is going to celebrate dad's birthday this Sunday. This Sunday? Why? What happened? Am I late? Uh, the thing is that because of work I have to go out with Mr. David this Sunday. Please forgive me. I couldn't inform you about this earlier. What is the point now? Dad will be upset anyway. That is fine. I will inform mom that you will be there later. Bye. <sighs> I want to see a new place. If anyone knows yeah, about sure. it, then I would like to know about it too. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure, sure. Of course. Forgive me, I'm, uh, I'm not able to understand. Grandpa is going to tell you your future. Tell him that I do not believe in all this. He's asked you to be careful. Someone is going to kill you. 
for joy. You could be harmed either by a snake or river. Come on, come on, let's go. No, let's go. Hold it properly. No one. <laughs> Please, let uh, me see him uh, just uh, once. <laughs> no one. Are you all right? Leo. Answer My me. Leo, what happened to you? Hey, move. Come on, move. come on, move aside. Hey, move aside. I don't think some people are What's here. up? I What's happened? Back, get back. What look What's happened? What happened? Horrible death. I, I don't know what, what happened. Let me take a look. Don't him over. What just okay, happened? Horrible death. Oh my God. Oh, that is really terrible. God knows who just killed him. Just see the way he is. Really bad. Oh my God, yeah, who could have done that? It's the truth. It's really terrible. doing there I think you seem quite unwell no not really I'm fine then come let's row the boat
truth is that I'm really scared of water since childhood. I tried a lot of times to swim, but I was never successful at it. Last time you tried well. Actually, the last time, the thing was that the boat was really very big. Many people, many dangers. For now, it is just the two of us. I will make sure that you're safe. I will look after you. I will save you, all right? If you wouldn't have come, then I'd have no idea what happened to Nuan. Are you sure that it is both of them? Well, I couldn't see them properly. Because they were bit fatally. I'm sure it is them. Uncle, there is not just one cobra in the whole world. You know what you said? You didn't think about it. But you actually knew about it that it's going to happen. Huh. You give this to me. Okay. What is it? Go out and change your clothes. Mom, he's not answering my phone. That is fine. If we are unable to talk to him, his dad will be all right. He just wants his dad to come over here. There is no need to worry in that. He told me that he is a little busy today. I have no idea when will he be free. But I will call him back to back, mom. Yes. <laughs> You've been here for a long time, right? Yes. Before Gosum, Mikala's mom, had come here for around six years. I thought you must have been a native here. I am from Utahi. I was having a problem back then. So my friend called me over here. There is no difference between my teacher and that aunt. Is that beautiful aunt your wife? No. She is no one. I have no relative here. I used to have a sister and then a brother-in-law and also a nephew. But now... Everybody is dead. Forgive me, but could you tell how did it happen? They drowned. They got engulfed in the strong current of the river. We found the body of my sister and her husband, but we didn't find the corpse of my nephew Dan. It is possible that the fish ate him up 